All right, blood. What's your beef in it? I'm, I'm vegan. That's a tweet I posted um, yesterday. I love Twitter. Twitter is one of my favourite things in this world, what we live in and stuff. It's quite, it's quite good. It's pretty, it's pretty nifty. I mean, Facebook's all right, but with Facebook, you can post whatever you want within reason. You can't, you know, post death threats. Well, you can for a bit, and then Facebook says, stop sending death threats to Jason Derulo. It's naughty. I don't know why I said Jason Derulo. He's a nice guy, I think. Why am I talking about Jason Derulo? I should be talking about Twitter. Um, this video started off weirdly, you know, as most videos do of mine and stuff. I'm not going to edit this video because I'm lazy. I forgot what I was talking about now. Twitter, I think. With Twitter, you have 140 characters to, you know, create something beautiful or something, you know, boring like, you know, doing a shit lol which is a tweet that I've posted a few times, I'm sure, in my Twitter life, or should I say, my shitter life. <laughs> that wasn't a laugh that I want to do ever again. Another tweet that I posted, and this is my favourite tweet of all time. Again, yesterday. Yesterday was a day of my Twitter godness coming out. Um... Basically, uh, I saw a few homophobic tweets towards um, a gay person, I assume, usually is the case, really. And the tweet was, and I quote, because I wrote it myself. <clears throat> By the way, the cough isn't in the tweet. i just doing that for comedic effect. I, I mean, there's no point. It doesn't make the tweet funnier at all. You can take your homophobia and shove it up your ass. You never know. You might like it. I'm assuming you're laughing, um, probably not laughing, but if you are, thank you. And then a few people said, are you gay then? Now, this is where the video can become clickbaity if I use the title that I'm thinking about using. I'm thinking about using the title, am I gay? And the answer is to that, no, I'm not gay. I've had a few gay moments in my life, but I'm not gay. I don't fancy boys, well no I do fancy boys, I don't want to have sex with boys, um, I don't think, that makes me sound like I'm unsure of my sexuality, I don't want this video to be like a coming out video, and it's not a coming out video, why did I even say that, because me saying that makes it seem like it is a coming out video, it isn't, just shut up Sam, but don't shut up because it's a YouTube video, if you shut up it would be boring, <sighs> okay, if you're starting a YouTube channel, don't base it off my channel, because don't. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, just because I support gay rights doesn't mean that I'm gay. That's what I wanted to say. Because, like, I see myself as a perfectly normal human being, or human being. But, I mean, I think that everyone in their right mind should support things like, you know, women's rights, gay rights, all rights in general. Maybe not the right to kill people, but that shouldn't be, again... Yeah. Um... Another thing I want to talk about briefly is like watching what you say online because I posted a selfie on Instagram which I normally do because I'm a vain asshole, and I'm not very good at putting captions to things and the caption was basically I took a pill in Ibiza, it's a terrible song because in my opinion it is, it's just I took a pill in Ibiza to make a vi to show Avicii how it's done or just to show Avicii I was cool. Yeah, thanks Charlotte. I'm, I'm Skyping Charlotte right now and she's like nodding. Um, I hear it all the time at work. Not because I work in a nightclub, I work in a Turkish corner shop. But the only music channel, sorry, the only English, English channel that I can find is a music channel. And so I listen to songs like that one and 
Work From Home by The Fifth Harmony and Justin Bieber and Zayn and One Direction and all your favourites. It's alright, it's okay. But that song in particular, something about it just kind of strikes a chord with me. And someone came into work today and that song was playing and he went, oh, this isn't real music. And I was like, yes, this isn't real music. And he said, quite possibly one of my favourite things that anyone's ever said to me today. And he said, it's hardly Ramstein or Slipknot, is it? And I was like, no, no, it's not, no. But I'm glad because I'm a simple being and like... I'm going to offend quite a few metalheads here, but Ramstein and Slipknot terrify me because it's like... <laughs> and um, the Mike Posner song is... I took a pill and I beat her to show what Vichy how it's done or something like that. I know. It's up there. You know, it's, it's soft. You know, it's gentle. I never thought I'd describe that song as soft and gentle, but hey ho, let's go. Um, again, I've realised I've wasted everyone's time with this video. I hope this video comes across as funny and wonderful and cute and fluffy and my use of adje adjectives is fantastic, I know it is. Um, right, okay, so this video is going to have to be eight minutes long now because it's the way things go. Um, I'm not even sure I actually got through to the whole point of this video, I probably didn't, but anyway, Twitter is wonderful, I love it to bits, my Twitter handle is at underscore Sam underscore Chaplin, please follow me, not in real life though, because I, I don't want that, I mean, it won't, it won't be good, because my life's pretty boring, unless you like watching awkward boys drinking coffee, and sitting behind the counter watching I took a pill in Ibiza. I took a pill in Ibiza to show a Vici I was cool. As you can see, I have amazing musical talent and that's why I am going to use this platform and this video to confirm that yes, I, Samuel Markham Stanley Chaplin, am, is, are going to apply for X Factor in 2015. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hang on, one second. Oh, for 